Hi everyone, it's Carissa, back today with a new crochet tutorial for you. Today we're going to look at how I have used puff stitches in my new assigned pooling design. Now if you're not familiar, assigned pooling patterns, sometimes called stitch by color, are worked using a yarn that is predominantly a background color, in my case this pale gray, with small sections of an accent color. Here I have a bright pinky purple. The pattern typically consists of a background stitch. Here I have used double crochet, and this is in US terms, with an accent stitch used in the accent color. And here I've used these fun little puff stitches that give the fabric a nice color pop and a lot of texture. Let's look at how to do this. So I'm using a background of double crochet stitches. So as my yarn is my background color currently, I'm going to continue working double crochets in each stitch from the previous row until the yarn that I'm working with changes to the accent color or is about to change to the accent color. And here we are. I cannot complete another double crochet if I tried. There you see it's turning pink. So instead of that last double crochet, I'm going to jump into my puff stitch here. This starts with the yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. And I'm going to draw up that loop nice and tall, about the same height with the double crochets that precede it. And I'm going to repeat those two steps. Yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop nice and tall. Yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, draw up a loop nice and tall. And you'll notice that as I work my first yarn over, I hold that in place with my index finger as I insert my hook and draw up a loop, and that keeps my loops nice and loose and keeps me from pulling on the working yarn a little too tight as I insert my hook. I'm going to repeat these two steps until my yarn changes back to the background color. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, oh, I've changed back to the background color. Once that happens on your next yarn over there, Instead of continuing with your puff stitch, you're going to complete the puff stitch by pulling that last yarn over through all the loops on your hook until you only have that one loop left on your hook. And there is your puff stitch. Now that I'm back to my background color, I'm going to continue with my double crochets. So yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll continue working double crochets until my yarn changes color again. Now you can see my yarn is about to change color. Again, I don't have enough background color left here to work another double crochet, so I'm going to jump into my puff stitch. So that starts with a yarn over the hook, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop nice and tall, the same height as the double crochets that precede it. Yarn over, insert my hook into the same stitch and draw up a loop, yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, and I'll keep doing that as many times as it takes to use up my accent color. And there, my yarn has changed back to the previous color, so on my next yarn over, instead of continuing with the puff stitch, I'm going to complete it by pulling that yarn over through all the loops on my hook. And then I'll go back to my double crochets, now that I'm using the background color again. And now you can see that those puff stitches really create a lot of texture. It's nice and squishy. 
You can see them from both sides of the fabric. So this makes an excellent shawl, in my opinion. Thanks for watching.